Greetings and salutations! This is Jason Silverain, and thankfully my PC has decided not to melt down as I play Stories, The Path of Destinies. Now, I have a choice. I can either trust for Zenobia, that she's uh, turned against her mad father, or, um, well, take her to the mountains until I'm sure. I think I'm going to trust her. Renata reached Lapino by far speaker toad. The one creature the Ravens had left alive at the observatory. Lapino seemed awfully anxious to meet him at the secret base. If he was a spy for the Empire, he'd turn around and reveal the coordinates to the Empire, jeopardizing the entire rebellion. But Renato couldn't bear to think that Lapino would commit such horrible treachery. There was still good in the Mad Rabbit. He felt sure of it. I'll meet up with you at the base, Lapino said through the toad. Yeah, with an army. Thinking. Renato gave him the coordinates. There's a shuttle here I can uh, borrow. Renato found Zenobia in the chart room. I've been having awful dreams, she said. Dead kittens and oh, worse. I thought there were only dreams, you know. Why would anyone want the lost gods back? In those days, the favorite of a god could become immortal. She held herself and shivered. He wants to become an eater of souls. Well, I'm not afraid of dying. Just tying a boredom. <laughs> Renato said, but she didn't laugh. Silence fell as they flew towards the ruins of the city of Ubar, where the rebellion leadership was hiding. If Zenobia couldn't help them fight off her father, no one could. This should be interesting. As they touched the ground, he could smell the ravens and hear their hungry calls in the distance. They're probably looking for me, she said. You go on ahead. She had that fiery look in her eyes that he'd always loved. It was a bit odd, though, how easy she'd been to convince. It was what he'd gambled on, but he'd expected more of an argument. She'd always loved to argue. She considered it the fastest way to the truth. Maybe she'd long suspected the truth. Sometimes all it took was taking the bandages from your eyes. That must be it, he told himself. I love how this game constantly tries to make you doubt your choice. Ooh. These little normal ravens spies for the big ones. So yes, uh, in my replay, I've only had one real difference. Renata what? felt restless. Maybe he could focus all that energy into something useful. I have a level up. Seems very nice. Ooh. And two, I've got a slightly different gem. I, rather than picking up another uh, treasure gem, I picked up a uh, shield breaker gem. It's interesting, but yeah, I want the freeze time. I need to smash the pots. So I'll have to see if I can there use the shot. There were stickers all over the platform for really hot lady foxes with pictures and addresses and everything. Shame the Bravens have killed them all. No, you can't hook the uh, pots. I wonder why it took me so long to actually try that. And another level up altar? Yes, gems, what we have. Nothing I can really say I want so much. It feels like it should have the treasure hunting one or something like that, but I don't really need it. What's this? Feathers aim that way. I see a chest at the bottom and I see a chest to the right. I'm gonna go this way and grab that chest. That feels like a trap. Whoops. I 
You just attacked. You got two attacks in a row, you cheeky sod. Alright. Get rid of your healer. You go away. You actually give me a shield, like I clicked right at the start of the fight. Okay. That wasn't good. Could have had worse. They caught their breath under a ruined arch. It's beautiful, she said. This was the library of Uba, he said. Your father's ravens thought they had an ancient book. She nodded. Was she crying? This was exactly what I wanted, Renata thought. To turn her to our cause. So, why do I feel something is terribly wrong? Because nothing ever goes this smoothly, is why. Oh god, should have gone the other way. Oh well. Learn that for next time. This is the first time I've played this series of levels, so... Keep on going. You know, it could always be guilt, so I don't see this upset. Wood. Oh, that's not good. Um... Can I just step back a moment? Calm down. You blinked! I'm kind of glad I'm going this way first, though. Since this is all the default way. Slaughtering all the- Oh! No you don't. I did actually get hit by one of those, so at least it's not instant death like I thought it was. Still, that hurt a lot. That was half my health. It took me being reckless. Kinda deserve that. Oh, I like the scenic. Uh Parents of all this. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. And ravens. Hold it. Whoops. Oh, wow, that really makes me faster. Ooh. Okay, enough was making a dent in those shields. Okay, I'll stop messing around for now. Let's do this properly. Thank you. And that's their shields dealt with. As if I power up using this. It just makes me that a little bit faster. And everything burns. Oh, that one just cooked us. Up to death there. No thanks. I want that. That is a very cool sword, thought Renaro. No, seriously. He couldn't feel his paw anymore. <laughs> ah, the problem with elemental weaponry. Yay, hell. Such a simple thing. And I've recovered my treasure hunter gem again. Though I did like how he was um, in the previous one, which unfortunately was cut out. Uh, he was uh, thinking just how he, if, if he'd previously owned a gem and he'd uh, lost it in a game of cards sometimes. Hidden staircase. Kind of moot point and a place with flying islands with lots of open areas. The council toads swarmed around Zenobia. Shocked she was there. Shocked she had changed sides. Then the walls exploded. He heard toads croaking. Oh, the ravens! Blackbirds were pouring through holes everywhere. It's a trap! Cried the council speaker. Oh. In the confusion, he saw flashes of magic. Then Zenobia being hustled off by Imperial troops. So, she had betrayed him after all. Renato ran for his ship. The Farfarer flew into the clouds, barely losing the Imperial Ravens pursuing him. The Rebellion was lost. And he had lost it. There was nothing to do but find Zenobia and make her pay for her treachery. His heart ached. He still loved her. But he had trusted her and he had been a fool. 
she would be back at the fleet, gloating with her mad, bloodthirsty father. For all Renardo knew, she was helping him bring back the old lost gods back from their exile. And that's it for this one. 